Well, relatively speaking, we might think of East Germany as being a kind of industrially backward or underdeveloped country because of its constant comparison to West Germany, which was indeed more advanced economically. But within the socialist world, East Germany was kind of the pinnacle of industrial modernity. Even within Eastern Europe, it was the place that had the, the highest level of technology, especially around sort of what we're seen as the high tech things of the day, like computers, um, optics, fine machinery. These were things that East Germany specialized in and that that young engineers from the, the Soviet bloc and beyond the communist world beyond would come to East Germany to gain training. So they had this kind of position as being, uh, being sort of at the top of the production chain as far as high value goods go. So conversely, they would exchange their sort of high tech knowledge for often um, raw materials and things that were of a more primary nature coming from other parts of the world. So for example, they would receive their coffee from Vietnam. Coffee, not something that can be grown in East Germany, but something that Germans uh, value very much. So you would have an arrangement where East Germans would help set up coffee plantations and, and bring some expertise and investment to you know, socialist Vietnam. And then in exchange, there would be um, you know, shipments of, of coffee coming back to East Germany. So this was an arrangement that we would recognize well in the capitalist world, which is a kind of exp ex export of expertise and know-how to developing countries in exchange for primary products coming back to the, the richer countries. So in many ways, there was a real mirroring of the processes of development and globalization that were happening in the East, socialist East with the capitalist West. And it came along with many of the same shortcomings. So many people would complain in the poorer countries that making them, for example, continue to export minerals or agricultural goods wasn't actually helping them to develop or move towards an industrial stage of capitalist production, that they were kind of being stuck in a position as the miners of the world and the farmers of the world instead of moving into um, a higher level of consumption. So that complaint, which one heard a lot of in the capitalist world in the, night, in, the, in the Cold War period, 1950s and 60s, you also would hear that in the socialist world. So globalization came along with connection, but it also came along with a certain um, entrenching of the roles that different countries had uh, played in the world economy. And there was a lot of discontentment around that even as there was often gratitude about having some kind of influx of, of expertise and knowledge from um, the more highly trained parts of the world.